staying at a homestay in Costa Rica. Here's my experience. I'm a trauma. My name is Jasmine Angelique, I'm a solo family traveler from Germany and in today's vlog I'll be traveling together with my bestie, for once not a solo traveler, um, with two travels to um, a homestay, a place called Colope San Juan um, here in Costa Rica and I'm so excited to be staying at a homestay. Um, if you don't know, like, I think like seven years ago I wanted to come to Costa Rica to study Spanish and obviously also stay in a homestay so this is like feels like full circle coming here <laughs> seven years later and staying at a homestay and I'm really excited because um, Two Travels offers like such unique experiences and from what I've heard about this homestay I think it's like very very unique we're also gonna do um, a cooking class today with Costa Rican traditional food and um, yeah also gonna have a bike ride they don't speak like any English so it's gonna be a challenge for me putting uh, out my rusty rusty Spanish but we're gonna do that and yeah let's go we left San Jose and started our road trip through Costa Rica with two travels the group trip will take us from San Jose over Corope San Juan La Fortuna and Monteverde to Santa Teresa our drive that day was our first glimpse at the beautiful landscape of Costa Rica that would follow the next few days we stopped for our breakfast at a local soda where I had my first empanadas as well as this beautiful waterfall on the side of the road and a sloth that was sleeping high up in the trees. Then we arrived at our remote homestay in Coape San Juan where we had our cooking class. The corporation was established in the 80s by 12 families. The farm is 416 hectares which is 60% of natural forest which the remaining land left to be cultivated. They also earn their money with tourists like us coming to their homes. This experience is only offered by True Travels and Chi Adventures. We then settled into our open huts. Here's a little room tour for you guys. Well, the night before going on a bike ride through the jungle and an intense rain, which ended in this river. We then ended the night with spontaneously making tortillas with our host mom and having dinner with the families as well as playing some games with the group. After being woken up the next day by the sounds of the jungle, we had a look at the caimans in the lake next to the community before leaving for our next stop to La Fortuna. So you guys, I'm gonna end this vlog now. Honestly, the homestay experience was amazing. It was such an incredible experience being like like disconnected and in a remote part of um, Costa Rica and you know experiencing the wildlife in Costa Rica um, and local families um, sharing their food with us and their homes and it was really incredible the only thing i didn't like was like the bike ride um that's why i opted for like going with the motorbike but other than that it was really lovely i really enjoyed it we're now in la fortuna so be excited for the next vlog um it's a lot more watery and a lot more volcano-y <laughs> and yeah so get excited for that um, I'm gonna say goodbye now I'll see you guys in the next vlog subscribe to my channel and bye